Ronnie King Coleman. Wow, what a difference from 1995 till 2003. My soul, my soul. He wasn't even a contender for the Olympia crown back in 95. It's really before he started getting huge. I think in 1996, he really started to put on some beef, but nowhere near, not even close to this 2003 can you guys believe your very eyes? This is part of your fan requested Friday lineup, by the way. Thank you, Mario Ultimate Art. I know you were the one that requested this. This guy's on Instagram. He draws some pretty gnarly pictures. Go follow him on Instagram. But anyway, back to the, the matchup. Just want to thank him. He had a good idea here. 1995. It's before he got really huge. So it's quite a difference. And it's not just the lags, which is obviously maybe the first thing you notice. Chest arms my soul it is also the midsection and you can see a lot of people blame that split in his his abs for uh for all the you know extracurricular stuff they take you can see he had a split in his abs back in 95 so it was more of a genetic thing and obviously all the other stuff it may have made it worse but anyway this is just a fun one, guys. Obviously, there's no winner. Let's have a look at the 95, and we'll do a fadeaway. Watch watch the wheels. Watch the wheels and everything else. Boom, my soul. Wow. There's somewhat of a symmetry round. The angle of these shots, so different. That's why I made 95 shorter, because, you know, the angle's different. It's hard to judge. Hard to judge. But like I said, we're not really judging it. Not only size... But condition as well has improved. He is dry as bark. Tree bark. Not a, like a dog bark. But for those of you who don't know what a tree is, it's the thing with leaves on it. No. Oh, anyway. Anyway. Let's skip through this because you can't really see. But you can see the conditioning. He's drier. Front double bicep pose. My goodness. Taking nothing away from Ronnie King Coleman of uh, 2003. But the first thing that I really notice is that midsection. Very exposing. Sure, his arms are bigger. But is it his biceps? Individualize the bicep peaks. It looks like his peaks. And I know this sounds crazy. Looks like his peaks were just as big. Maybe even bigger on that right arm. For, for uh, 1995. That's insane. But when you do glance at the 95 physiques, all I, I, all I see is bicep peaks. It's incredible. Incredible. Now, let's have a look at this one for a second. And this is, don't kid yourself, this is 94. He was even smaller here, 94. Still had the split in the abs, Ronnie Coleman. But oh my goodness, can you guys believe your eyes? Can you guys believe your eyes? And like I said, individualize those peaks. This was a year earlier. His peaks seemed to be even bigger. So we probably really focused on those guns, a la Arnold Schwarzenegger. Of course, come on, get those peaks even bigger and they'll be big as mine. Do it. That's a funny Arnold impression. Didn't even really sound like him. Front, front lat spread. Oh, he's a little off kilter. You guys notice that? He's a little off kilter and he's, his head is like a scared turtle. He has gone away. Looks like the surface of the moon. All lumpy and round. What? <laughs> But because, obviously, the angles are different, it's hard to, hard to really see and gauge the true size difference. Now, a shot like this, this isn't even realistic. And maybe those black and whites have been touched up. Maybe they have. Maybe they haven't. But what is obvious to me, the guy's head is even different. His head, his facial expression, his jaw is bigger. Do you think maybe the stuff they take makes their jaws bigger? Maybe uh, you took enough of it, you could turn into a great big crocodilian. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm saying. But anyway, taking nothing away from this 95 version because he was ripped to shreds. Ripped to shreds for, for sure, Monsoon. Let's have a look at these back shots because we don't have all day. Or do we? I could go live and just talk to you guys all day long. All day long. But anyway, anyway. Condition is noticeable for me. The glutes. The glutes. The hamstrings. Like I said, looks like tree bark. 
more uh, separation in the calves as well. So he did work his calves. Obviously, the angle of the shot is much different. So he cannot really gauge the true mass of the back. Because obviously, he has put on some beef. Here's the rear double by. Nice straight on. Same angle. His back was more symmetrical in 1995. I can tell you that. I can tell you that much for free. Free of charge. But... He's so much bigger, just gobs of thick meat. And can you believe the legs? Look at the wheels. Oh my goodness, this is unreal. And the calf, from what you can see, wasn't a full body picture. And that's why I don't didn't show the full body picture. But this is truly, like Louis Marco says, to be admired. Now let's do one of those fadeaways, like desktop bodybuilding did that time. Little stutter there. Did you look at the legs? Did you look at like la- rewind it? Look at the legs. Now here's the rear double. It's a nice black and white picture of it. And like I said, they they may have been worked on. They may have not been worked on. But you know what? And I know this is a black and white, and sometimes it's hard to tell. But he looks like he is drier and more conditioned in the back development for 1995. But like I said, the black and white's very difficult to rig- make a good decision on go look at the colored one if you want to make a a better decision hey here's the abs and thigh and this one's a black and white too if we could have all colored pictures of all them trust me i would use that as i get comments all the time what's with the black and whites well sometimes they just didn't produce the pictures in color and it's kind of confusing but you don't really need that to see the difference here his quads in comparison to his waistline look bigger in 95. Now trust me, they're not. He's hitting his he's hitting the pose to a better more of a, a, a better shot, I guess. Hitting it to a T. Hitting it to a T. Little tongue tied today, ladies and gentlemen. It's alright though. It's okay. We go with the flow. The the abs. Look at the abs of Ronnie King Coleman. And you can obviously see the split in the abs, but it is not as much. So those splits in the abs, I think it's genetics. Plus, you know, you use all the stuff, so it brings it out. It brings it out. But anyway, anyway. Finish this dandy of a comparison off. And again, thank you, Mario. This was a good idea. There's a lot of shots like this one that I prefer 95. I'm sure you guys do too. But you can make no mistake about it. The back shots, the symmetry round, the size of the dude... Obviously, 90 or 2003 would reign supreme. But like I said, shots like this, I do much prefer the leaner version. Boom. Yeah, buddy. Ding, 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 ding. Lightweight. He's the only man that would call 200-pound dumbbells peanuts. He called them peanuts. Nom, 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 nom. And give me some of them peanuts. They're lightweight. They're light. He did this. He did the uh, squats. What was it? Nine hundred pounds. Well, obviously, it wasn't that much, but he did a you know big squat, two reps, and he he said mm, that was light. He didn't. He he wasn't saying it like he's saying. He really really thought it was light. He could have did five reps. <laughs> anyway, this was a fun one. Like I said, rip to shreds, monsoon, rip to shreds, gorilla. Here in nineteen ninety five, much more thin skinned. From the front, obviously from the back, he was tree bark in 2003, but I like finishing off with this one. It really displays the genetic potential, the true natural potential that Ronnie King Coleman did have. And then, of course, you plug it into some power and boom, you get the 2003 version. Maybe the greatest, biggest, best bodybuilder of all time. Anyway... Ladies and gentlemen, love you guys. Not as always, like Nick Strength and Power gives it to you all the time. I don't give it to you all the time, you know. We don't like to talk about our feelings here at Mark's Max Muscle. All the time. We work out. We work out. Anyway, anyway, hit thumbs up, subscribe. Have a great day.